Today we're gonna make a resurrection garden. First, we're gonna need an aluminum pan, paper cups or flower pots, a spray bottle, some Play-Doh, a large rock, some fast grow grass seeds, some potting soil, pebbles, and three crosses. We made these crosses using twine and sticks from our backyard. Step one, you're gonna need your Play-Doh. We're gonna make a little snake. on the outside of the edge. Hopefully our crosses will stand. Is that what the Play-Doh's for? To help the crosses stand? The Play-Doh's to help the crosses stand. Okay. Then we're gonna take... Step two is... Step two, we're gonna need our potting soil. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take our potting soil we're gonna place it all over the pan. Maybe your brother or sister can help you with that. Ready guys? Three, two, one. Show me your hands, Thea. <laughs> okay. okay. Then we're gonna take our composable cup we used a teared cup. Torn. Torn cup. We're gonna place that right in front of our Play-Doh. And why is a torn cup better than? The torn cup is better because when we use a, just a plain cup, it's gonna roll a lot. So that doesn't roll as much? And since we're t we tear, torn, Tore. we torn it, it's gonna just stand there. Strong. Then we're gonna take our rock, we're gonna place that in front. Okay. Just like that. You're gonna put the rest of the soil to make sure we don't see the blue from the Play Doh. And over the top. Yeah, hold on a sec. That's better. And then we're gonna take some soil and we're gonna place it on top of the cup. Xander only filming. You're on camera too, dude. What? Don't you, Xander, why don't you let your brother help? Okay. There we go. Thea, do you want to dump the rest of the bag out? You can dump it on top of the cup. Here, let's move it over. Turn it around so you can see the back. There you go. Make sure to pinch that back. It's good helping, Connor. Okay, there we go. Good. Okay. Then we're gonna take some of our pebbles. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna place them from the tomb over to the edge of the pan. Are we creating a path? We're going to be creating a path. And then we're going to take our three crosses. We're going to take our three crosses. Our smaller crosses are going to go on the outsides. After you set up your crosses, you're going to take your fast growing seeds. You're going to take open up your bag or the block you have them in and you're going to dump them into your, your plate or bowl that you use for your um, pebbles and you're going to take little pinches then you're just going to 
place them on top of the under electric brother and sister house or around the um, thing, thing. Yeah. and maybe in some of the back just pretty much cover everything else with seeds including seeds. on top of the uh, We want seeds to go everywhere. Good job, guys. All right, Xander, what do you use the spray bottle for? Are you going to use the spray bottle? Can you let your brother do it? Can I do it? No. Can you let your brother do it? I think we're good, guys. What? I think we're all good. Maybe y'all can spray it tomorrow, all right? And then we're gonna set it somewhere where the sun can it. get it. And we're gonna spray it lightly every day. And we're gonna see what happens. And we're gonna see what happens in our next video. Make sure to subscribe. And hit the bell so you don't miss anything.